All right, boys and girls, we've got this old E track out here in the Manicure, both with 11 inch coals. Now, somebody's done made a comment on one of my YouTube channels. They're sort of insinuating that the CTX and high iron sights can hang with the old Manicure. I guess that's what they're trying to tell me. Coal size for coal size. Well, I'm not so sure about that, but I don't have a CTX to put in this video where I'd put it. Now, how much difference is that CTX than that E track right there exactly? Now, I'm sure it's better. But how much better? And here's something I want you all to think about. If this gentleman is telling the truth, and he was indeed talking about high iron sights polluted, that the CTX could hang with the Manico, and I was showing a video, you know, talking about all-terrain low conductors. Well... <clears throat> Using their logic, well, what about all-terrain high conductors on the Manicore? I mean, so it should be able to probably keep up with a CTX-2 and a high iron size, shouldn't it? Is that possible? But we're going to do this little test here, okay? Now, let's just imagine, because this is, imagine if every nail in the world was a carbon copy of that old colonial nail there. Now, granted, if nails turn, you get different orientation. But let's just, just imagine every nail in the world was exactly like that one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn each machine on. Now, the CTX has got the same scale on it that the E-Track has, I believe. It's got the same scale, top to bottom, left to right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go to the quick mask screen, and I'm going to come up until that nail starts giving signal, and then I'm going to go down one. Or up one till the you know what I'm saying till the nail is quiet and I'm gonna set this nickel about like so we're gonna look at that e-track and we'll look at it with recovery speed fast and recovery speed off and then we're going to do the same way, thing with a manicure. We're going to look at all-terrain high conductors, and I'm going to do the same thing with the upper ferrous limits. I'm going to let it all the way down and start raising it till that nail goes quiet. And I'm going to place this nickel in there. We're going to look at all-terrain low conductors and all-terrain high conductors. Watch what happens. Let me turn the camera off here briefly and get it set up. Okay, we're at 23 manual sensitivity, normal tone, okay? Quick mask screen is open. And if anybody's got a CTX and do, wants to do a video and compare it to that manicure right there on a similar test as this, I'd like to see it. Okay, so the quick mask screen has got a 30, 35 down there. If I can see this here. Okay, there's 34. Okay, there's 34 coming in there now. So it's quiet at 34. You see that there in that camera? It's quiet at 34. Go back down to 35. 
Okay, I'm going to raise it back to 34. That's what's down there right now. Okay, now I'm going to put that nickel in here. Now, this is not exactly scientific, but I'm going to use that center of that capital building there. You see what I've done there? All right, what does this machine do? Now, let me look here. Okay, recovery speed fast is off. Okay. Can you hear that? It's about an inch over that. Two inches. Okay, now I'm going to go in here, turn recovery fast on. Back to the quick mask, it's down there still. What happens here? Okay, so you got to hear that. Let me turn the camera off. Now we got some signal there with recovery speed fast on. Fast off, we didn't get much at all. I turned it back off. We'll sweep again back on the quick mask. You see it there? Recovery speed fast off, that's shaky as all get out, okay? Let me turn the camera off here. Alright, we're in all-terrain high conductors, and I'm just going to leave this machine in speed four. Alright. Now, upper ferrous limits. There's two. Okay, there's three. There's four. Alright, we'll back off to three. Go back to four. And we're in speed four, okay? Put this old nickel in here. You see that right there? Okay, now what happens here? So I'm getting one way signal. We've got the machine at speed four. Okay. Sweep some more. I get a little static coming from the right, but speed four. Okay, now I'm going to speed six. So I get signal in altering high conductors running this machine slow or fast. Your speed eight even. But I only get one way signal at speed four. What about speed five? Okay, I'm getting two way signal in speed five. Speed four again. Okay, so I get one-way signal, okay? Now let's remove the nickel. Go to all-terrain low conductors. Okay, upper ferrous limits. That's, that's number one. Number two. Number three, okay? Number four. Back. Back back to three. Back to four. So that's where she's quiet at. Now 
Close recovery speed six. That I checked that in. All right, let's put this old nickel in here again. You see it there? All right. Well, this is speed four. I'll trade low conductors. Two-way signal. You hear that? I'll even check speed three. I do get two-way signal. Speed five. Speed seven. Okay. So whatever this gentleman's trying to tell me, I guess that would be my question for him. Could the manicure and all-terrain high conductors in a high iron sight keep up with a CTX? That's the question. Because he's trying to insinuate that maybe that machine could keep up with this machine in all-terrain low conductors. Well, why couldn't this machine in all-terrain high conductors keep up with that machine in an iron sight? And the CTX. They, these two do behave different. Now, I, you know, I use some slow call sweep there, too. With that machine. Okay, the E-Track. So, like I said, if anybody wants to do this little test comparing this machine to that CTX, I'd be more than glad to look at it, okay? That concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed.